The next rule looks at what happens if we don't just have x squared to take the antiderivative of, we have 5x squared, having a constant multiple out front. So we did this with derivatives as well, having a constant multiple out front. This was one of the rules that I felt like it was a do-nothing rule. It didn't change anything about taking the derivative. You still brought down the power and multiplied and then subtracted one for the new power. So same thing with the antiderivative. Having a constant multiple doesn't affect our rule. We would keep the k, add one, put it in the denominator, end up as your new power plus a constant at the end. So all we're going to do is going to keep that, that constant. So nothing changes otherwise. So this next one, we have the antiderivative of 5x squared. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep that 5. And then I'm going to add 1 to the power. 2 plus 1 is 3. So I have 5 over 3, x to the 3, plus c. Same thing again. If you have a constant multiple 2, you're just going to keep it. Antiderivative means add 1. So 7 plus 1 is 8, so I'd have 2 over 8, x to the 8 plus c. Or, of course, I could recognize that if I'm going to end up doing 2 over 8, that's the same thing as 1 fourth, x to the 8. You don't have to reduce fractions, but if you wanted to, you definitely could. I would if it was a whole number, like if that was 10 divided by 2 or something, I would just write it as 5, but 2 over 8 you could just write it as one fourth. I really don't stress about it unless I can make it a whole number, which is nice when you get like 10 divided by two and you can just write it as five. For this last one, it's a little bit more complicated because we have to rewrite first. We have a fraction, so we're gonna write this as five and we have x to the negative nine really. Negative because it came from the denominator and since we're rewriting, we're gonna keep that take the integral symbol We're gonna keep the dx there because we haven't taken the antiderivative until we've added one Which we're ready to do now. We're gonna keep the five negative nine plus one is gonna be negative eight Put that in the denominator put it up as your new power plus c